up? It's your girl Rajane. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here. Like I said, I'm Rajane, and your girl has something a little bit for everyone. At least I try to, but basketball is one of the things that I have incorporated on my channel. So if basketball is something that you're into, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you give this video a thumbs up. But other than that, let's just get straight to the topic. If you read the title of this video already you already know i'm going to be talking about the nba finals first of all congrats to the warriors where's all the warriors fans at y'all should be watching this video right now anyway thumbs up if you're a warriors fan but where are the warriors fans at because the warriors got another ring their fourth one to be exact and let's not lie the warriors have struggles for a little while <laughs> like it's been crazy to kind of see their downfall and then rise back up to the top to get another ring. From them not having Clay Thompson for a while with all of his injuries, Steph with his injuries, even what Draymond with his injuries, the Warriors was just not the same. They struggled and they had to deal with the team members, the teammates that they did have. It was so weird to see them in a position like that because I'm used to seeing the Warriors win I'm so used to seeing the Warriors win all the time that it was so weird to see them at rock bottom. But I think that's what motivated them to get back to the top, you know, from all of their struggles, especially Clay sitting on the bench and not being able to play with his teammates. Like, he was feeling it. But again, they made it to the top. They didn't even think that they were even going to get to the top or to be in that spot. So congrats to them. The Celtics... Let's talk about the Celtics. They're a great team, don't get me wrong. The Celtics has definitely leveled up this season pretty fast, might I add. Like ever since, you know, the beginning of the season, they had some trouble with the whole them playing as a team and them trying to figure out whose role is what, what is what person, who's doing what basically. Like, what are we doing here? How are we going to play together as a team, especially with Jason and Jalen? The whole thing with the media, I guess, really trying to compare them or trying to put them against each other and making it seem like they can't win together. That both of their talents is just clashing and it's just too much. Like one of them has to go. And they dealt with that. I'm not going to lie. That was a whole mess. I honestly feel that both of them can play together i mean they can lose together i'm sure they can play together and win together okay it's just that again people really have to figure out their roles and people really have to like hold each other accountable and make sure that you do it at your fullest potential like at 100 percent ever since what after all-star it was a whole different team like all of a sudden they're like named what the best defensive team and that was crazy because they were shutting teams down really left and right and not even just that but mostly in what the playoffs you know shutting down the nuts typically kd shutting down the bucks Giannis antetokounmpo shutting down miami heat jimmy butler they were able to do those things but i just felt like when it came to the warriors yeah not 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 so much just went downhill i have been saying this and I've just been thinking about this, and I just want to know if everybody else agrees. Playing against teams is just not the same. Like, you can't play this team the way that you were playing the past team, because it's just not going to be the same. Somebody is always going to bring something different to the table because they know what you're bringing, and they're going to bring what they got. So it's always going to be hard every single time. I don't know if their mindset was just like, hey, like, you know, we got past these teams and that's cool and everything. Like, we can get past them. I love the energy. I do. I love the energy. I love the positivity. I'm loving the vibe. But you're not going to lie. Everything that they do just seems really effortless. Like, they know what it's like to really play as a team. Everybody knows their role. Like, everybody knows what they need to do or what needs to go down. And people just execute. And it happens effortlessly we already know Steph Curry is basically a unicorn at this point so everything that he does really is just out of this world like it's it literally makes no sense like it's just it's not even fair basically that's what I'm trying to say it's not fair but you know you have to understand that you can't have the same mindset going against certain teams because 
it's just not the same. Like your A game has to be different every single time because people just play different. They have a different plan. So I just don't know if like the Celtics was on that same mindset. I think they started to realize that, whoa, like this team, you know, playing against them, especially what back to back or not to say back to back, but just so many games and having to compete with the same team every single, you know, every other day and knowing that they're bringing something different every time, but they're coming harder and harder. And the thing is, is like, I wouldn't say that the Warriors are like aggressive, aggressive. Cause I feel like the only run, the only one that would really be aggressive like that is Draymond. But a Warriors is not an aggressive team. Like, yeah, I don't know, name, name an aggressive team. I wouldn't say they're aggressive, like in that sense, but just aggressive, like maybe even mentally. Cause I feel like there was just times where people were getting to each other mentally. I felt like this was, this was that series where it was like the Warriors were getting to them mentally and they let that be their downfall. Like I said, the Celtics is, it's a great team. They have a lot of talent on that team, but it was just like, they didn't have that experience, you know, to understand what it's like to be in that position and to handle themselves in the right way and play at a mindset where it's just like, okay, like we got this. Now that they know what it feels like to, to be in the finals. Now you know what it feels like to almost taste victory, but not get there quite yet. I feel like that they should use that as motivation for next season to come back harder than ever because I felt like they did an amazing job doing what they could do. But yeah, the Warriors, enough said. Let's talk about Jason Tatum. I've seen so many different comments, you know, they're coming at him hard, okay? They're coming at him full force. They're coming at him with just so much negativity, just making it seem like he did not have an impact on this team whatsoever. Making it seem like he didn't have an impact in the series, in the season whatsoever. And he did. I didn't see every comment, but I've seen some comments here and there. And let's just be real. Like, let's not, let's not be so hard on him. You know what I mean? I know what people are going to say. You know, he signed up for this, okay? He signed up to be in this position. He's the face of the Celtics at this point. He's the leader of the Celtics at this point. Like, he has to be able to take the pressure to take the criticism that people are throwing at him. He needs to realize that like, this is what he signed up for. Like you said that you can handle it. Like you said, this is your job, right? So what's the problem? But at the same time, we can't just sit here and make it seem like, you know, he wasn't doing anything or he didn't have any type of impact because that would be false. I think that we should not sit here and like praise him one moment when, you know, he's making 40 points, 50 some point games when he's having 13 assists which was like the highest we're praising him one moment and the moment that he slips up he's just not having you know those types of games like how he used to have or whatever the case may be that now we just got to be like yeah you're not it like you're done I feel like we shouldn't do that I feel like you should praise him not to say that he shouldn't hold himself accountable because i've said that before the whole team has to hold each other accountable when you notice somebody is slipping up and they're not you know doing what needs to be done or if you start to notice you know that they're slipping or they're falling back and you know they're having some trouble at the same time it's like you also have to hold yourself accountable and i understand that but again with the whole like, everything that you've done in this season doesn't even matter i feel like we just can't do that like we need to acknowledge the fact that yeah there were so many things that he was able to accomplish so many different barriers that he's broken so many different like moments where history has been made and he's only 24 years old it's crazy to me he still has so much room to grow and break even more barriers <laughs> like make history on so many other different categories and again he has that room to do that you have to let him just be young and make those mistakes but at the same time again hold yourself accountable and just be like hey like i have to do better i honestly feel like i know that he's 
hard on himself about those things because I know that he's putting himself in a position where it's like, I have to do this. Like, I have to be at this level. I have to be perfect. And it doesn't help when you have people on the outside also kind of pushing that narrative in his direction and making it seem like, yeah, you need to play this type of game every night. You need to have this mentality every night. You need to do this. You got to do this, 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 and this. And it's like the way that it's being delivered. It feels like it's pressure on him. He may, Jason, Jason may not think that it's pressure, but it's pressure. I don't think he realizes that you can't listen to the outside noise all the time. I feel like that's what sets you back. When you feel like you have to meet other people's expectations and it's just like, it's just not gonna work. You can't meet other people's expectations. You can't meet everyone's expectations at that matter. Only you would know what it is that you need to do to get better. Everybody else may come at you a certain way, but at the end of the day, you're the one who has to, you know, be alone with your own thoughts and think about like, what could I have done better? Like, what is the best version of myself and how can I get there? Because again, everybody may have these expectations of you, but you can't meet every single one of them. Like, of course they're gonna expect you to be at this certain level because again you're like the face of this team so they're like they've seen you at games where you have been at your highest where you have literally again 50 something points a game this many assists a game you being a playmaker for your teammates and you just having those types of nights like they're expecting you to have those types of games every night and expecting you again to have this certain expectation where he should be here and again he didn't come through, he disappeared and went go. And again, you just can't put that type of pressure on yourself to meet everybody's expectations. Cause at the end of the day, you should have those set for yourself. You should be able to know where it is that you're trying to be, where you're trying to go and then get there. You have people in your corner that's there to help you and to give you that type of criticism, but everybody's criticism, I don't know. It just, it can't be, you, you, you can't listen to it. Again, the negativity can also motivate you. It can get you back in the gym and do what it is that you need to do. But it's, I felt like, I don't think he realized that people's expectations and that type of pressure and the fact that he feels like he has to be at this certain level or be like, you know, different people that he's admired. I know that people have been coming at him. <sighs> They've been coming at him with these comments about, you know, his admiration for Kobe. May he rest in peace. And making jokes of that nature. I know that that's that was his idol, you know. He's wanted to be him, basically. And it's just like, what I would want for Jason to do is to play his own game. To find himself as a person, but also as a player on the court. Do they want you to have... A Kobe mentality, a LeBron mentality, a Steph Curry mentality, a Giannis mentality, of course. That whole, I'm going to go and get mines type of attitude by any means necessary. And you're coming with all the aggression, okay? Yeah, they're going to want that. But, you know, everybody, everybody is different. And you need to find that mentality, not to say that you can't have it or that you can't look up to those people to find that within yourself. But you really need to find that within yourself and make it your own and not feel like you have to live up to other people's expectations you're trying to be this person you know there's people that you can look up to and admire but you want to be able to find yourself and play your own game because that's what's going to set you apart from everybody else at the end of the day so yeah i just feel like he's putting a lot of pressure on himself i feel like you you saw that in his game, all the, the different turnovers, the forcing shots so that he can get certain calls that just wasn't happening. Um, him shooting shots that you know he can make, but he was overthinking it too much. It's the pressure that's building up. And I don't think at the time, at this time, he couldn't handle it. It was a little bit too much. Like I said, the Celtics, it was the first time for them. They didn't have that type of experience. So for him, you know, it was his first time being in this situation and everybody is like pressuring him to be the best he can be. 
and he needs to play this and that. I feel like that was getting to him. That was getting in his mind a little bit too much. At the end of the day, like Stephen A said, what we're not gonna do is we're not gonna belittle him and make it seem like he's not next up because he is. Like I said, there's so many things that he's accomplished this season at the age of 24 and he's not done yet. Like I know there's still more in him that he needs to unleash, but he has to unleash that. And in due time, we'll all be able to see it, but we're not gonna belittle him and make it seem like he's not up and coming because his time is coming. He's definitely next. He's definitely in the right direction, but he still needs some work. He still needs time to, to evolve. And I, like I said, to get better as a player to get better as Jason, not as anybody else, but as him, his own game. Only he'll be able to unleash that within himself, but he needs that time to figure that out better as long as, and as far as everybody else on the team, everybody else has to unleash that within themselves because y'all did this together. It's not just Jason, everybody had faults too, you know, in these games, trust me, they have. Go back and look at some, but I just wanted to mention that. I just wish that he didn't let that type of pressure get to him mentally and let him overthink you know his shots let him overthink his game because i feel like at the end of the day he knows what he you know and again we're not going to sit here and belittle him and make it seem like he's not he's not on his way because he is he's proven that throughout the season from the beginning of the season to the end of the season i feel like he's proven that he is on his way but again Everybody also sees that he just needs work. He needs to better his game. He pretty much has it together. It's just certain things that he really needs to tweak. Also understand that you did the best that you can do. Now the pain that you and everybody else on the Celtics is feeling needs to be a fuel for you guys as for motivation. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just kind of want to rant about that. <laughs> Because I know everybody's talking about it. It's a whole big deal. I know y'all saw on Instagram the Warriors celebrating, popping bottles, living life, really celebrating that fourth ring. But uh, I just need to talk about that. But let me know. How did you guys enjoy the NBA season? Like, did you guys enjoy the NBA season? Who do you, who do you think would get the ring next season? Who are y'all rooting for? So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that would help your girl so much. And I'll see you guys on my channel or I'll see you guys soon. Bye.